hello everyone welcome back to mrs dre food channel i hope everybody is doing well in today's recipe i am going to show you how to make the ultimate ghana beef stew mm, this is the best ever stew you will ever make and trust me you are going to love it and adopt it so if you are interested let's get right into it so to steam my meat i'm going to use two scotch bonnet peppers i have got two stalks of spring onion i've got four garlic cloves my sankofa stew seasoning i've got one medium-sized onion one small maggi cube and two thumb size ginger so let's get started i have washed all my veggies and i am going to put them all in my blender okay if you don't have spring onion you can just ditch it right everything is in my blender now i'm going to add my sankofa stew spice and then i'm going to add in my maggi cube and then i'm going to add about one tablespoon of salt i'm also going to add half a cup of water and then i am going to blend it until it is very very smooth all right everything has been blended now i'm going to pour it on my meat and this is beef brisket you know my love for beef brisket i love it it is my favorite cut so add it and then add in one tablespoon of beef flavor stock mix it well so that everything is well incorporated and as you notice i just added just a little bit of water because i want you know the natural flavors to come out and then i'm going to cover it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes all right so this is how my meat looks like now it is looking nice i am just going to give it a little stir and then i'm going to cover it again and leave it to simmer for a further five minutes guys all right so this is my meat it is perfectly cooked so i'm just going to leave it aside for now in the meantime i am going to pour enough oil in my frying pan so i am using vegetable oil as usual and then i'm going to add in half a tablespoon of red tandoori curry give it a little stir and wait until it gets hot enough all right my deep frying oil is at the right temperature now and i am going to deep fry my beef brisket adding curry in the oil gives it more taste more flavor so you should try that method also do not forget to stir it so that it cooks evenly and doesn't burn some people like it very dark some people don't so it's up to you all right my meat is now ready so i am taking it out of the oil and look at this perfect fried beef brisket you just want to eat it just like this <laughs> all right so now that my meat is ready i am just going to forget about it for a little while and then i am going to blend one onion with two scotch bonnets and one thumb size ginger with my meat stock all right so now put everything in the blender and add in the meat stock that came with the meat we steamed at the beginning okay so do not ever throw it away now blend it until smooth and now we are going to pour oil into our cooking pot and this is the oil i fried my beef with so no oil wasting and now i'm going to add in two chopped onions and going to stir it and leave it to saute for about three minutes and then i'm going to add tomato puree so i have got two tubes of tomato puree one tube is 200 grams so 400 grams of tomato puree you can also use tomato paste now stir it and leave it to fry for about three to four minutes and now i am going to add my blended onion pepper ginger with my meat stock okay give it a little stir leave it to fry for about three minutes and then i'm going to add my tomato sauce which is just uh peeled tomatoes i have got three cans of peeled tomatoes that i blended please feel free to use fresh tomatoes if you like or any tomato sauce that you can find at the shop give it a stir and leave it to cook for about 20 minutes on a medium to low heat all right do not forget to 
cover it but not entirely okay just let it breathe kakara mani hume all right guys so this is how my stew looks after 20 minutes and as you can see it's already starting to look nice the oil is settling on top this is all we want and now is the best time to add in our fried beef biscuits all right so just add it now that we have added the beef we are going to give it just a nice little stir and then and then and then i am going to add boiled eggs guys yes yes this is my special beef stew i'm going to add boiled eggs which is not compulsory but if you do like eggs please just add it stir it and then add one tablespoon of tandoori curry powder and then add one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning any type you like and then half a tablespoon of salt or to taste okay do not forget to taste it it is very very important to taste now i'm adding one more small maggi cube stock and that's it for the seasoning i'm just going to stir it and that's it and now last but not least i'm going to add my spring onion and one more chopped medium-sized onion so i've got here about four stalks of spring onion and just one medium-sized onion now stir it nicely and leave it on the stove for a further five minutes on the lowest heat possible and voila look at this nice beef stew guys your beef stew is ready and i promise you you are not going to regret it this is a very 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 nice stew no lie no lie min chantro and this is it it is now time to serve so i'm going to enjoy this wonderful stew with my plain basmati rice you can enjoy it with boiled yam uh if friends say plantain the open beer the fedin as you with the allah hey charlie hmm i was so try i want to try any a wow problem okay guys thank you all for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and that you are going to try it if you do try it please don't forget to send me pictures on instagram subscribe if you haven't already turn your notifications bell on and i'll see you next time bye